Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we kind of have a quick tutorial, um, but basically we're gonna be creating like a particle replicator that you can like drop in a you know JPEG, a PNG, or whatever image or text layer, and you can duplicate it you know hundreds to thousands of times just you know very quickly. And this is what we'll be creating, kind of like a social media cloud. I kind of see the stuff all over the place, so I decided to do social media icons. Um, we're not creating this last part here, but uh, you can download this project file in the description of this video. Um, but uh, be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's get moving. Let's go up to, uh, let's bring in our so social media icon. So let's start with, say, like Instagram, right? And here's our Instagram logo. All we have to do is just go ahead and hide it and go up to Layer New Solid. And we'll call this one uh, Particle, you know, Instagram or something. And let's go up to Effect simulation cc particle world and the first thing we're going to do is kind of maybe scrub through our timeline here so we can kind of see the particles and let's go ahead and you know turn these particles to our instagram logo right away or whatever logo you want to use so let's go ahead and go to the particle and under particle type go ahead and go to the drop down and click on textured square and go ahead under texture here open that tab and go to texture layer and go ahead and click on the instagram or whatever um, sort of, you know, logo or whatever you have down there. And as you can see, we have, instead of particles, we now have our logo in here. And, you know, it looks pretty cool. So, uh, but however, there's a few things, like right now, this isn't the, you know, the exact color of our logo, and it's not, you know, there's a few issues with it. So, to kind of clean this up, what we can do is change the max opacity to 100%, and where it says birth and death color, we need to change these to white, so we can get that original color of the logo. And as you can see, we have the exact logo, and it's pretty quick. But uh, before we go ahead and duplicate, uh, we add more particles, like add the Twitter logo and the Facebook logo. Let's go ahead and kind of, you know, customize this animation a little bit to come right towards us. So what we can do is we can go to, into the producer, radius X, Y, and Z. We can kind of go ahead and increase these by a little bit. And kind of just offset some things like this, you know, maybe like that. And maybe increase the birth rate to like four, or around that number. And maybe go into the physics. And right now, you know, everything's kind of just falling down. Uh, what we can do is go into the gravity and set this to zero. And now the particles will come right at us. You can go ahead and change the speed of the particles. So if you want it to come really fast at us, you can kind of like change this up to like five or something. And the particles will kind of just fly by. But I'm going to go ahead and set this down to like maybe 0.5 because I prefer more of a slower approach. And as you can see, we have, you know, particles, you know, coming in and dying. So what we can do is we can change the longevity to here to like maybe seven or something. And particles will live a lot longer. Uh, and you can go ahead and increase that even more if you want. And maybe we can go ahead and increase the size variation to like 100%, just have that extra variation in size. And then to finish this off, let's go to extras here. And let's go into the effect camera. And let's go ahead and maybe just add a little bit of animation to this or like some sort of uh, dynamic camera movement to this. What we can do is maybe go to like three seconds here and add a keyframe for rotation Z. And maybe we can move forward to like say eight seconds. So we have a five second animation here. And we can go ahead and just change the rotation Z just by a little bit. So now the particles will seem like they're kind of rotating at us or at least the camera. Here, let me click off of that. Now it kind of just seems like the, you know, it's kind of rotating just a little bit. It's very subtle, but it's there. So. Um, and let me go ahead and see, we want our animation to begin right here. So we'll go ahead and just trim this up and maybe we'll move this to the beginning of our timeline here. All right. So let's say we want to add another logo in here and all we have to do is basically just duplicate this layer by going up to edit duplicate. And, uh, what we can do is bring in like say our Twitter logo and same thing, just hide it. And we go to our new duplicated, uh, you know, particle layer, go to the particle go to the texture and we'll go ahead and click on the Twitter logo. And the only thing is with this is that basically our Twitter logo is in the same exact spot um, as our Instagram logo. And obviously we don't want that. So what we'll do, we'll go into the extras and under random seed, we'll kind of go ahead and increase that by a little bit. So things will kind of be offset by a little bit. And then also, you know, I would suggest going up to back to the producer and it'd be kind of just playing with the radius X and Y and Z a little bit just to kind of get some, you know, create some more variation in depth. Maybe I'll increase the random seed a little bit. And, you know, just increase the random seed to where you get the your particles where you like them. So we just went ahead and add our Facebook logo. And, you know, we can go ahead and go play with the physics, kind of get some interesting looks um, and, you know, be pretty cool. And I'm not going to, so, like, if you guys want this extra part with the lens flare and all that with the, 
actual social media screen. You can download this project file. This was pretty simple. It obviously just dropped in some text and just put like an optical flare on top of everything. So this was a really quick tutorial, but if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below and be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for more After Effects tutorials and awesome techniques like this. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.